When the universe is 10 trillion, trillion, trillion years old, the last dim glow of the final remaining white dwarfs will go out, leaving only black dwarfs behind. Black dwarfs are the final fate of the last stars in the universe. They're white dwarfs that have become so cold that they barely emit any heat or light. Black dwarfs are dark, dense, decaying balls of matter. Nothing more than the ashes of stars. Stars take so long to reach this stage that in the 13 billion years they have been shining, none are thought to have yet become black dwarfs. Just as this ship, which is made of iron, will eventually rust away and all that rust will be carried off into the desert by the wind, then we think now, or our best theories now suggest, that the matter that makes up black dwarves, this is the last matter in the universe, will eventually decay. It will change into radiation and just be carried off into the cosmos, leaving absolutely nothing behind. With the black dwarfs gone, there won't be a single atom of matter left. All that remains of our once rich cosmos will be particles of light traveling across empty space and black holes. After an unimaginable expanse of time, then even the black holes will have evaporated away And when I say unimaginable expanse of time, I mean it. It's 10,000 trillion, 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 trillion years. Now, how big's that number? Well, if I were to start counting with one atom representing one year, then there would be by far too few atoms in the entire universe to get anywhere near that length of time. Once the very last remnants of the very last stars have finally decayed away to nothing, the story of the universe comes to an end. For the first time in its life, the universe is permanent and unchanging. Disorder finally stops increasing because there is nothing left to decay. There is no difference between the past, the present, and the future. The arrow of time simply ceases to exist. Nothing happens, and it keeps not happening. Forever. The arrow of time points towards a bleak and desolate future. But if this process could be reversed, if we could stop the universe from dying, there'd be something missing from the cosmos. Life. <laughs>